Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a question, comment thing, food for thought thing. Basically a real quick thing that kind of irks me when I hear people discussing music, most specifically music that, 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 that they do not care for. This notion that there is a real version of, of music in a certain genre, you know, oh, I, I most specifically hear this used as such. That's not real hip hop. That's not real punk. We listened to real rock music. I've even heard this phrase used in, in the case of, that's not real dubstep. And what kind of bothers me is that, yes, it does come from a positive and kind of well-meaning place for some people. Some people just want to be jerks and, and sort of crap over other people's taste in music. But some people do want to use this in a positive way, kind of uh, enforce a standard when it comes to a genre of music that they love. However, when I hear this phrase used, to me it feels like it's just kind of got such a stupid, ignorant impact that I'm surprised music fans perpetuate it. But again, back to the, the standards of quality, you know, people, if they hear hip hop music that has incredibly crappy lyrics or, you know, uses uh, instrumentals that are of kind of a, more of a trendy sound, you know, people will come up and sort of qualify, that's not real hip hop. And they'll sort of name off five or six classic hip hop records, which are, you know, if you're into hip hop are undeniably good. However, still that real hip hop qualification is there. And the same goes for, for punk music as well. Bands have been chastised for being too squeaky clean or being too poppy or corporate or just not having the right ethos. And again, people throw these real standards on genres of music because they don't want things to totally go to crap. However, I think that this, you know, notion of what's real in a certain genre also kind of stamps out creativity too, because if somebody's doing something different, maybe something people don't quite get on the first go around, maybe something that's kind of progressive or experimental, yet they're trying to stay within that genre or that genre is sort of a main influence for that artist, certainly right away some people are going to tag it as that's not real. But come on, let's 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 think about this here. Let's not totally just you know, close our minds off from new ideas because artists over the course of their discographies certainly evolve and genres do too. Because the thing is what punk means today doesn't exactly mean what punk meant in the 1970s in terms of style and, and sound and R&B of the 50s does not really sound a lot like R&B of today too. There's a noticeable amount of contrast between electronic music that came out in the 60s and electronic music today as well as metal that came out in the 70s and, and metal that came out today. And I'm sure you could take any album in those genres that was produced today and possibly show it to somebody who was a fan of those very same genres 20, 30, in some cases 40 years ago and maybe get some negative reactions. Like, you know what, this doesn't have A, B, C, and D. This has all this new crap I'm not used to. This isn't real metal. If you don't like a piece of music, let it be on the merits of the music itself as opposed to what categorization it, it finds itself falling into. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. That's it. You're the best. I love you. Thanks for watching. Questions? Comments? Th 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 things? Forever. <laughs>